Hey everyone, how's it going? This is the Bow Metal Nerd coming at you with another video. This one's going to be a funny one. You're going to hear my interaction uh, that I had with a uh, telemarketer. I'm not sure if this is a straight up scam, but there have been a lot of consumer complaints against this company. Um, they call my phone, you know, regularly. So I thought I'd record this interaction and share it with you guys because I had a lot of fun uh, when I was talking to these idiots, as uh, you'll see. So. Um, Let's go ahead and just dive right into this. So here we go. Receiving a rebate check along with a 30% discount on your electric and gas bill. Please press 1 to get your rebate check. Thank you so much for staying on the line. My name is Jeff Hardy. How are you? Hello. <laughs> this is me. How, how are you? Yes. Uh, this call is regarding your Duke Energy bill, and I'm here to provide you the extra charges that you have paid before. Great. Yeah. So, may I have your zip code? Sure. 45241. Not my real zip, but one that's from the area. Are you getting any assistance to bring your bills, or you are paying it by yourself? Pay all by myself. And I do different accents. That's good, sir. Uh, please grab any copy of your Duke Energy Bill. They're not. Let me tell you about your supplier section. Okay. Yeah, I will hold the line for you. Please go and grab the copy. All righty then. Hold on now. <laughs> They're not my provider, but whatever. And I just like walk around. Thank <laughs> you. I'm looking for something. Ugly dugly, I got my copy. So, you got your copy? Yeah, I got it. All right, just go on the second page of your bill. Yeah. Uh, can you see one electric portion there? Uh huh. So. Hello? 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 <laughs> Hello? At this point, I lost the call. Hello? I want to save money. Poo poo. Doo doo. Shit shit. <laughs> so. <laughs> At that point, I had lost the call, and I thought to myself, okay, this guy clearly knows I'm fucking with him. And uh, I, I was thinking, well, if that's the only interaction I have, that's not worth sharing on YouTube. However, about 20 seconds later, these idiots call me back. So uh, let's, I'm going to go ahead and play uh, part two of this uh, wonderful interaction here. Yeah, sure, electric portion. Uh yeah, can you see some extra charges there? Can you please read out for me those charges? Electric charges? I just play along yeah, like extra I'm... Extra charges. Extra charges, like... Because I have no idea what he's... Or... I'm just playing along at this point to string them along. It's great. But I get crazier there as the call goes extra on. Extra charges showing in the electric portion on the second page of your bill. You know, like the kilowatt hours or... The rate? Like distribution, customer charge, delivery charges, and you can see the more charges on this portion. Can you see that? Uh, yeah. Uh, ho hold on. I'm just making shit up. And I'm just like walking around, try making them think that I really care. My, I just start... Yeah, sir, I see delivery charges says uh, <laughs> 17 99 Okay. I just make numbers up. Obviously. Yeah. Seventy or seventeen? Seventy seven zero ninety nine. I said seventeen, but then right. I just seven changed it to seventy. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, more charges. Can you see more charges here? Generation riders and generation charges like this? Sure, yeah. What about them? <laughs> yeah, how much is that? Uh, one's like twenty five ninety nine. Another I, one's uh. I just you know twenty seven ninety. I'm just making shit up because I have no uh, idea what these mm -hmm. should be. Yeah. 
And the total amount you have paid for this month? Uh, 12874 one twenty eight dollars and yeah. seventy four cents. Yeah. All right. That's just so keep in mind these all extra charges that you are receiving. This is from the supplier portion. Duke yeah. Energy is not your supplier. Duke is your provider, your utility. Yeah. Got it. And those all extra charges that you are receiving are from the supplier section. Uh, I do believe that you are a residential customer, right? Yeah. All right. So you are receiving these charges for uh, as a commercial customer, but you are not a commercial customer. So that's why you are receiving this phone call by the Duke Customer Choice Program. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, your next bill will be 35 to 40 percent discounted. Those all extra charges will be waived off only world one charge will be there that will be distribution customer charge of six dollars this is from the duke energy directly uh-huh okay so uh first of all please verify me your name that appears on this the is bill. Where, this is where it gets good oh my name yeah my first name is uh benjamin how do you spell that B E N J A M I N. Uh, Benjamin. Yeah. And the last name? It's uh, Dover. <laughs> D O W D O V E R. Uh, D O V E R. Yeah. <laughs> Benjamin Dover. <laughs> Got it, buddy. Yep. Uh, all right. I can't see. And uh, your service address that appears on the bill. This is where. My service address is uh, mm -hmm. 666 Hells Lane. Sorry, a 666? Yeah, 666 Hells Lane. It's the best I could do in this for the that? moment. Hell? Hell, like hell yeah. H E L L apostrophe S Lane. <laughs> You'd think at this point they'd hang up, but they uh -huh. don't. That's in Satan's Boulevard, Ohio. <laughs> Just a minute. Satan's <laughs> Boulevard. Yeah. He's taking me seriously. It's too good. Ohio. <laughs> yeah. And your zip code? 45241. I was consistent with the zip code. I remembered that from earlier. Oh, <laughs> All right, sir. Uh, just stay on the line. I will just transfer your call to my supervisor. He will assist you in a battery, and he will proceed further for you. Okay? Oh. All right. Just, just stay on the line, please. Yeah. It gets better from here. <laughs> just wait till someone comes on the line. It gets really good. I just start doing crazy voices. This is gonna be a good one. Can me and Lexi uh, stay out here and this call? No. Me and Lexi are about to go back in. Hello! <laughs> Hello, sir. Uh, thank you so much for holding the line. This is Adam Connors. On the line. How are you doing today? I am well. Well, good to know, sir. So, actually, uh, there was some confusion, I believe. So, uh, would you please uh, let me know, sir? Yes. What can I do for you? <laughs> yeah. So, sir, actually, this call is just to rectify these extra charges that my associate has shown you. Okay. So, these are only meant for the commercial customer, sir. It's not for the residential one. And as per your private third party supplier has right My now third uh, party. it's showing you in the records as a commercial, so sir, that is uh, gonna be rectified now. All of these extra charges are gonna be waived off. And in simple words, the bill and that you're getting sir about one hundred and one uh, one hundred to one thirty, right? At this time. So sir, that is gonna be not more than according to your usage, history and uh, consumption. It's not gonna be more than uh, fifty five to seventy, sir, max for the upcoming 24 months, all right? 
That's great. It'll make processing those souls cheaper. <laughs> excellent. I'm sorry? That's excellent. <laughs> All right, sir. Good to know. So, uh, do you have a pen and a piece of paper, sir, so you can write down uh, the new rate for each kilowatt that you will be getting? Yeah. And also the name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So, sir, the, uh, yeah, the, uh, the name of the certified supply. Great okay. American Power. Okay. All right. And, sir, the rate will be just 7.29 cents now per kilowatt hour. No, I was hoping it would be 66.6 .6 cents, but I can go with 72.9. That, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> well, sir, sir, I suppose six, I will six, use, I guess I could use my infernal Google machine to look that up. Great American Power, you said? Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello, sir. Yes, did you say this was great American power? Yeah. America first! So, <laughs> I should use this my... This is a customer choice program by the Duke. I thought you said the provider would be great American power. I'm sorry, I'm having a hard no, no, time no. understanding. This is not a provider. Sir, this is not a provider. You said the generator? This is your supplier. Yeah, oh, generation the supplier, company. right. Be a new supplier, yeah. 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 Great yeah. American power. Yes, yeah, sir. Great. <laughs> like I said, so thing, I, I could use, have my minions use the infernal Google machine to perhaps look up Great American power. Yeah. Right. <laughs> So, sir, that's why we are calling you for the extra charges you are paying as a commercial customer, but you are not a commercial customer. Right. So, uh, did you got did you got my point? What I'm trying to say, you. Right, I get it. It's residential, and since I'm not commercial, it shouldn't be commercial. I understand. Yes. Yeah. So that's why, sir. Uh, Please uh, verify me your Duke Energy account number, sir. Yes, it's six, six, six. What else would it be? The number of the beast. Compels me. Sorry. It's six, six, six. No, it's sorry. Your hey, Duke devilish. Energy. The, yes, yes. It's the dark energy, the dark lore, such. You do understand? You, know, you, you are some dumb fuckers. You know that? <laughs> so that was the end of my phone call. Um, I don't know how long I could have strung them along for, but uh, truthfully, at that point, I was getting kind of tired of messing with the uh, with them. And uh, this clearly shows they are not the highest IQ individuals in the world. The fact that I was able to be so outlandish and stupid and they stayed on the phone with me like I was legitimately going to fall for whatever shit they were pulling. I actually did Google Great American Power and apparently they've been doing this kind of crap for years. Uh, bugging the shit out of people, um, you know, switching people over without them knowing, etc, etc, etc. So I was able to at least extract a little bit of fun and uh, have some fun with their moronic... Uh, call center people. And it would not surprise me if I were to get more phone calls like this. Next time, uh, I won't take it in the Satan direction. I'll try to, if I get another one of these, I'll try to think of something new, uh, you know, because just, you know, I don't know, maybe serial killer next time. I don't know. I'll think of something, um, so another outlandish thing and see how long I can keep them on. Or maybe, maybe a clown or a circus ringmaster. I just have to think of a persona to uh, employ, <laughs> you know, because uh, it's funny because, of course, I start off with my terrible attempt in an Indian accent to throw back at them. And if they keep talking to me after that, I know I pretty much kind of hooked them a little bit because they're, they're clearly not very bright. So um, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, Happy 4th of July, and I'm glad we were able to take a talk about great American power here on the 4th. See you guys next time.